search and destroy strategy for broadcast offense. Keep in mind, this is not a continuous game. They are only videos showing you one of thousands of possible paths you can take. Alright, I don't grab the bomb, but my uh, teammate does, and it looks like we're heading for A to, to plant the bomb. As soon as we get to this point here, obviously I'm looking at that top entrance. A lot of times players from the other team, including myself periodically, will try and rush to this floor entrance and try and catch the other team coming in as we are right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck one up there and uh, hopefully catch someone that's trying to rush on our position. Alright, as soon as I'm done throwing that, I'm going to quickly move to the left and hug that wall just in case someone on the ground floor from this uh, entrance near me or the other side are coming to rush as well. And you can see the grenade did actually kill someone. I tend to take sort of precautionary steps just for that sort of case. I mean, yeah, my teammate bit and everything like that, but, um, you know, I, I don't rush in. I kill and I wait because that tends to attract people. So, looking at this, I'm assessing again to see if anyone's coming from the ground floor. I move up. Obviously, there's someone up there I can hear him. I place a claymore in case he tries to rush. I'm injured, so I go to prone, and that claymore gives me some time. Now, I need to run by there. Nothing better than a smoke, and if he tries to come after me, the claymore... If he doesn't kill him, it'll wound him, and I'll know that he's coming behind me, and I can turn around and kill him fast. So, obviously, I'm uh, taking position here. I just took a moment there to see who's alive, who's left, and then, of course, I spot someone. So, I'm going to take that person out. It gives me UAV. If I don't have a silencer on, after I kill someone, I get the hell out of there, because you're going to attract enemy players who know where you are. Now, I try and kill this last guy, but my teammate got him. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here, and I'm just going to give you a quick disclosure here. What I'm about to show you is major ass camping, okay? This is not something that you want to use, uh, you know, when you have a half-decent team. Only, only use this technique when your team is getting their asses kicked and being overpowered. And you know what? If you get called a camper, who cares? As long as you get the win, you know what, it's usually the players that are careless and get killed by it because they don't know how to check corners properly that complain about camping. So you don't want to do this on offense unless the other team is extremely aggressive. Remember, this is camping. A lot of haters out there when you do this, okay? All right, so we're actually going to be uh, setting up our camp in the uh, bathrooms here. I'm actually just going to pause it right here just quickly. As you notice straight ahead of us where we're kind of facing, not really facing, but that entrance on the bottom level, you need to be careful of snipers looking straight down there. In order to avoid that, you're going to want to have extreme conditioning and uh, an SMG equipped. If you have anything else, you may get nabbed because you need to have that jump, you need to have that speed, and you need to get in there right away. If you have to slowly crawl over that wall, chances are you're going to get one right in the noggin. All right, your primary objective as soon as you get into the bathroom is to set up defenses. You're going to want to have claymores set up as your perk. The first one, as you can see here, is going to be located on the closest side to where you are. You want it far back, but you want it right against that wall and angled slightly outward so that the first laser line is actually going right along that wall. And so that'll trigger it, and as they move outward, it'll actually kill them. Your second claymore you're going to place in the corner of the crappers there facing outward and that's usually effective if they come running in now what you're going to want to do is as soon as you're done doing that you're going to want to hop back up onto uh into the stall there the reason for this is that someone chucks in a grenade from that side you're going to be protected now we're seeing our, our teammates getting killed as i said i mean this is something where the other team is overpowering uh your teammates and this is the only time you'd want to do this because it gives you an advantage and at least a fair uh, playing field the time that you kill at least two or three uh, of the other teammates so patience in this is very important you do not want to be going out there you're going to be watching the radar and unfortunately you're going to be watching your teammates get killed and there's the first kill because he's killed and we're not protected on that side anymore I like to actually go straight through technically one of the teammates would have seen that and if they looked on the map they would have seen them in that room getting killed so you know, I, I get the heck out of there, and chances are they're thinking I'm still in there. Most of the time, no one's going to be s sitting in this, and they're going to be in a rush. I fire my gun to trigger. That guy takes the bait, running in there thinking that I was still in there, uh, because it is a known camper. And then there's the final claymore. Someone actually tried to come in from the other side. I got UAV now, and now I have the upper hand. 
So three are down. I've got UAV. I can usually detect where they are. And then I move. So now it's no, there's no longer camping, right? You've got UAV. You've got to be aggressive. You've got to move. Now, I can't actually see them, so there's, there's no point. The UAV was kind of wasted, but it doesn't really matter because, as you'll see, this guy's not exactly the greatest. So, I mean, you saw me camp, but the second that I even the playing field, I move fast. Now, be careful when you're going in this. There's claymores on that side. Usually a gun on the other corner, which is why I do that fire there. It's hard to see them, so I just make sure. If I saw that guy and I actually was hitting something, I would have plowed into them. Plant the bomb. I throw actually smoke here so that he can't see. It's harder for him to rush in. He knows I'm in there, so he doesn't... No one's going to go running in through smoke knowing that the enemy player's in there. So he's going to try and be careful, and you're going to see him actually blow himself up. <laughs> Alright, we're going to show the oh my god, my team sucks in comparison to the other team's strategy one more time. So again, we're going to go into the uh, bathroom. You want a single jump over there to avoid getting killed. And this time we set up uh, a different claymore. Again, it's effective if they're running in, but this claymore must be placed in that area there to be effective on that side. That one probably that I place here is not the most effective. Again, we're going to hang out in here because this is a lot of fun and really boring, but effective nonetheless. Again, if you're getting overpowered, consider using this one round. Don't do it back to back. These, this is a completely different game. If you've already done it, they're going to chuck everything in at you and you're going to get just slaughtered. Again, you can see teammates are dying. You know, actually, this the other team would avoid this trap that I've set if they do what I say in my defensive thing and what other people complain about. When you're on defense, camping is part of the game. You're there to defend the bomb site, so you don't really need to move. The players that are coming out here all aggressive, like they're super killers, that guy, obviously, he's not that good. Or, he, you know, if he was actually defending the bomb site, he wouldn't have died. So we stay in there. It should trigger the other one as well. I'm not sure if... That guy's obviously waiting. I mean, it's the same thing. He's 10th level. You camp. Yeah, it's camping, but it's going to work. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. For more strategies, visit nextgentactics.com. Oh, and by the way, when Modern Warfare 2 comes out, we're going to be putting a special camper's guide to the every single map. So be prepared to be really annoyed by all the newbies.